detect the COVID-19 virus in your body once implanted. Could the implant be the next thing the public could be shamed into getting? I want to move on to the microchip, which senses COVID-19 in your body before symptoms and filters the virus from the blood before. It's being developed by the Pentagon. Um, your thoughts on this? Yeah, so, um, you know, all the conspiracy theorists out there, right, who went around saying, hey, they're, they're creating this microchip and it's going to be inserted uh, into your body. It's going to come with the vaccine. And, every, and all these folks in the media were like, oh, you people are crazy. There's no microchip. Then the Pentagon comes out and says, hey, actually, we have a microchip. So here's what's fascinating about this. I actually am releasing a, a podcast about this today that's pretty lengthy in detail. But what's important is that the, the government agency, DARPA, right, that does these defense advanced research projects is the one that actually developed this particular uh, microchip that they say, oh, it won't track you. And it, all it's going to do is tell you if you have COVID symptoms. Well, guess what? My body can also tell me if I have COVID symptoms. So why would I need a microchip inserted under my skin in order to tell me whether or not I feel the symptoms of, of COVID? It's, it's bizarre in that respect. But it's also important to note that DARPA, that same organization, is the same one that was funding gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Virology Lab for the last 10 years, especially since 2014. So the fact that they now want to come out and say, we're going to create a microchip that you can put under your skin, it will tell you whether or not you have COVID. Scotty, do you really trust that that's what this is for? And the fact that this has even been created in the first place, it doesn't even, there doesn't seem to be a point to it to tell you that you have COVID. I think that's what scares me the most about this. It's like you were working on a chip to go into people's skin. By the way, it's coming from the Pentagon. It's not coming from a private medical firm. And I think that's, that's where right. my concern really is this one. So here's my question. The, the Look into your, your future crystal ball, as I've so often asked yeah. you, Ben. If this shows to actually be accurate and it can predict it, do you think we could see a push that everybody, just like what we've seen with the mask, the vaccine, a push that you actually have to be microchipped with something from the Pentagon? Could that actually happen in, in society today? If you had asked me that question a year ago, I'd say it's nonsense. I'd say today it's very possible. I mean, that's where we're headed with the, with the talk of vaccine passports. And remember that with a microchip, they say, well, it only does this one limited thing right now, but it's a microchip, which means it could be used for many other things, including tracking whether or not you've had your vaccine passport, vaccine, or whether or not you know, you're able to travel into other countries because you have the microchip. The application for a microchip is vast once it's already been created. So the idea that it's only there for determining whether or not you have it, uh, I think is untrue. And yes, I think it's very likely there'll be a huge pressure to say the Pentagon is going to start microchipping people. And if you want to travel and you want to be able to go in and out of the country, you have to have this. And anybody who's listening who says, oh, that sounds like a conspiracy. A year ago, you would have said it was conspiracy to say that we're going to use the blockchain to create a passport so that you can travel from country to country. And that's happening right now as we speak. And I have to wonder what's going to happen if private industry gets a hold of this technology as well. I hope